are in Alexandria and it is lunchtime. So today we stopped by a fish market restaurant, but don't let the name fool you. Even though it's called a fish market, there's a lot of veggie options. And the best part about this place is that you can see this beautiful view of the Mediterranean Sea in the back. This view is just priceless, absolutely amazing. So the food is incredible as well. Um, I got to play around with the oven where they make this amazing bread full of air and yumminess. So we're waiting for the food to come out and uh So while we're waiting on our food, just a couple of interesting tidbits about Alexandria. So first of all, it got its name based on Alexander the Great, who um, some people think he might not have been so great because of all the pillaging and killing and such. <laughs> uh, it is situated on the Mediterranean Sea, so your views are beautiful, but because of that, it's quite windy as well. So make sure to pack um, a jacquard or something to cover your naked arms, you filthy sluts. <laughs> It is. It has about two main roads, which go for approximately 33 kilometers, and the traffic is insane in the membrane. And there is about eight million people who live here. So we pretty much saw majority of the historical sites within maybe an hour to two hours. Um, so we saw the Pompeii Pillar, which is the only single remaining pillar from that time, along with two sphinx or sphinx eyes, sphinx eyes, sphinxes whatever <laughs> you get the gist and then we got to see the catacombs which were just absolutely insane so it was uncovered by accident because a horse was going down the street and its legs fell into a hole and then they started and then they started looking into it and then they found the actually catacombs so after the poor horse pretty much lost its front legs in this hole, they started exploring and they found this huge discovery underground um, and it is pretty old, like about 2,000 years old. Um, and we still don't know who was originally buried there because there was no inscription of names. So um, some probably rich, important people because money buys everything, even in the afterlife. <laughs> And uh, there's also the famous Alexandria um, Library, which the old one is obviously destroyed, so there's a new one built on the place of that. And then there's the Citadel, which sits right here on the Mediterranean Sea, which you can see in the background over there. Well, you can't really see because there's people blocking it, but it's right there, I promise. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, so there is a lot of cool little neighborhoods. So you, as you're driving around, you can see areas where they do woodwork or where they do um, car repairs or where they do uh, piping and all other metal work. So um, there's whole blocks dedicated to just the same industry. And it's really cool to just kind of drive around and see how it changes from street to street. And um, also what we tried was a sugar cane juice right on the street from a little juice place and it was absolutely freaking amazing delicious and another thing that Egyptians eat a lot is this lovely poofy bread um, so you can buy this on pretty much any street corner anywhere you go and it is really delicious really really delicious and you should if you stuff it with like falafel or something and hummus, can't go wrong. So anyways, those are a couple of tidbits about Alexandria. I um, definitely would highly recommend for you to guys come and check it out because it is a super cool place. Not only for the ancient wonders, but also the modern way of life. You can see how the Egyptians of today live. So definitely suggest to come check it out. All right, we're still waiting for food, so stay tuned. Delhana Ushet, here we are going for the taste of the amazing bread, hot bread out of the oven, not too salty. So you can eat it with whatever you want and uh, not feel like you have to chase it with a bottle of water. They always have beets in every meal and I absolutely, I'm in love with beets. They're so good for you. So we're waiting for the main course. Let's see what's in store for us. Okay, so food got here and this looks amazing. So um, from the looks of it, obviously not a lot of protein, but uh, we're carving it up today because we're walking a lot. So it'll be okay. So we got our pasta, we got french fries, my favorite broccoli, 
samosa, a little bit of fried, but whatever. And then we got our dolma leaves. So food is really awesome looking. And uh, let's see what it tastes like. Mm. French fries, can't go wrong with that. That's always amazing. <laughs> so even though a restaurant is called the fish market, you can still find plenty of vegan options and they have amazing juices and uh, yay. So if you guys are ever in Alexandria, I highly, highly suggest coming to visit the Citadel and then just right around the corner, there's the fish market restaurant. Don't order the fish because that is not vegan at all. You did not pick fish from a bushes or trees. They're not growing on a fucking plant, okay? So no fish, but order something like this and uh, you'll get an amazing view of the um, entire Alexandria and the Citadel and the Mediterranean Sea. And uh, yay, it's gonna be an awesome uh, Egyptian experience. So, bon appetit from Egypt. I still have to learn how to say it in Egyptian and Arabic. <laughs> Bilhana Usha. Bilhana Usha. And uh, I will see all of you guys in the next video. Stay strong on your vegan voyage. Lots and lots of kisses from Egypt, Alexandria. And how do you say it? Bilhana Ushifa. Bilhana Ushifa. You can read it in English also. Okay. Bilhana Ushifa. Shukran.